Well, it's been a rough few years for Bowling Green, battling pandemics and natural disasters. But what better way to celebrate our healing community than honoring our neighbors? Which is why the city is bringing back its Neighborhood Builders Awards. The city is asking community members to help in recognizing individuals and groups who have devoted themselves, their time, and their talent to helping Bowling Green. Nominees and award winners will be recognized at the 21st Neighborhood Builders Banquet. That will be held Monday, November 20th at the Sloan Convention Center. Nominations can be made online. A form is available at bgky.org slash announcement slash 1358 or by email to karen.foley at bgky.org. And the deadline for nominations is this Friday, November 10th. Well, this weekend, people gathered to celebrate the nation's black veterans for their sacrifices throughout history. Veterans who haven't just fought in war, but have also battled prejudice and racism. More than 600 black soldiers and veterans are buried at Greenwood Cemetery. One life lost was Sergeant Elijah Mars. He was born enslaved in Shelby County and marched a group of Louisville men to be enlisted in the Army. He was just one of the countless lives to be remembered. The National Association of Black Veterans honored all of the black veterans' lives lost on the battlefield. You did good and your country appreciate you. It may have taken a while to get us here, but we're here. All of us gave some, but some of us gave all. For those who weren't able to come back with us, we celebrate them. Congressman Morgan McGarvey serves on the Veterans Committee and he got a bill passed through the House this year to honor all veterans. And Muhammad Ali is known as one of the greatest boxers of all times. He is remembered for his humani humanitarian efforts. The Muhammad Ali Center honors those who exemplify those same characteristics with their 10th humanitarian awards. Now, one of the biggest honors of the night was a Kentuckian of the Year Award. It's one that Governor Bashir presented to one of Louisville's local heroes, Officer Nick Wilt. The honor was accepted by Nick Wilt's brother on his behalf. We thank you, all of you, uplifting us in our darkest hours. You guys were on a beacon, reminding us that even at, through uh, adversity, we're never alone. Thank you guys very much. Other recipients include Rodney and Holly Robinson, Pete, and Kind LLC CEO Daniel Lubetsky. Share your good news with us and you just may see it right here on Midday Live. Thanks to the support from Bat Planet. Submit your stories, your photos, and your videos at WBKO.com slash good news. Good news is brought to you by Bath Planet of Bowling Green.